Dear Tom and G. That's their names, right? Dear Tom and G. That was a good one. Dear Tom and G. I'm not American. Dear Tom and G. Options. They're giving you four now. Dear Tom and G. I think I'm going to use them all. What? <laughs> Dear Tom and G. Dear Tom and G. <laughs> That's Alan Rickman and I thought it was Steve Rockin. <laughs> Dear um, Tom and G. That was like the love child between Alan Rickman and Christopher <laughs> You know, dear Tom and G. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, dear Tom and G, that's, that's it, that's a good one. Usually I'm alone when I do my dear Tom and G video, stop nodding your head like a <laughs> dog. But whilst on tour, I think I found our long lost sibling. <laughs> We've sort of gravitated towards each other on tour because we are very similar. To the point where Callum O'Neill said we were separated at birth. The tour bus has got two big TVs either end and they've got buttloads of films on it. I said buttloads. Buttloads? <laughs> <laughs> <Bro. Butt -loads. laughs> Well, loads and loads of terms came into my head. I should have gone for shit. And you went with buttloads. <laughs> that was the best one, was it? It was buttloads of films, and we've watched all the Harry Potter films they have, which weirdly misses out random ones, but yeah. annoyingly has got Deathly Hallows Part 2, but not Deathly Hallows Part 1, which now means that the only Harry Potter movie I haven't seen is Deathly Hallows Part 1. Whilst the rest of the cast want to watch Pulp Fiction. And which is a great movie, I'd like to throw that in there. That was a good moment yesterday. Do you like Pulp Fiction? She went, no. And I went, do you like Tangled? It's in my top five films of all time. <laughs> which just made me like you more. We are the grandparents of the cast, because everyone else likes drinking a lot and going out and partying until like very early in the morning. And we didn't do that until Newcastle. But it was one of these things where we were like, are you going out? I don't know, are you going out? I'm gonna leave when you leave. <laughs> yeah. The interesting thing about being the grandparents of, of the tour, which we are, is that we are, you are the youngest female. In fact, you're the youngest member of the company. Mm -hmm. And I am the next youngest, even though I am older than you by an unspecified number of years. What? Four years, he's 26. Reading. We reading. haven't mentioned reading. I bought a book that he'd recommended me and he bought a book that I recommended him, which was? Andrew Carriageman, The Tiny Wife. And I recommend it to you. Uh, the Sense of an Ending by Julia Barnes. Julian Barnes. How many books have you got now on tour? Uh, I've got eight on tour with me now. I have seven books, one of which you actually bought me. It's my favourite book of all time. And it's a bit of a weakness of mine. Is when someone goes, oh, I've never read Animal Farm. And I'm like, so yes, I, I bought you a copy. So now you have to read it and ingest it and love it. I will. What else have you bonded over? Many things. I like the fact that we're always early for everything. Breakfast, like the breakfast club. club! On the first night of the tour, our rooms were next to each other. And so we were like, let's go for breakfast. And now we've made it a thing where every morning we have to get up to go and have breakfast together. Take it in turns if we get too juiced. Oh yeah, we do. <laughs> but it's also got to the point where we think the rest of the cast thinks there's something romantically going on between us. God! No! <laughs> it started off where Johnny told me about this website called lowbudgetaudrey2.tumblr.com You know a little shop of horrors? The woman in that's called Audrey and the plant is called Audrey 2 And basically it's this website that is lots and lots of pictures compiled together from loads and loads of low budget versions of the little shop of horrors They didn't really have much of a budget for Audrey 2 and some of them are the funniest things I've ever seen. Then that escalated to us finding lowbudgetbeasts.tumblr.com Low budget versions of Beauty and the Beast where the yeah. beast is just horrific. It's <laughs> it was like quarter two in the morning. We were cackling. That coincided with Joe and Brian walking past the door and thinking that something funny was going on within the room. Instead of getting no. up to shenanigans, we were looking at pictures of grown men dressed as the beast. <laughs> Don't let this be just for the tour. Th this bromance. Since when was I a dude? Can you make brother and sister work as a word? Brussismans? Sibmance. We're a sibmance. A sibling romance. No, that sounds that. weird. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> We're a France. We're a friend romance. We're a France. We're from. We are France. <laughs> Can I also just say a big thank you to all the hopefuls I've met on this tour? Yes. Um, you're all fabulous and wonderful, and I've met quite a lot of you now. Johnny plays a character before the show starts called William Rowland, and you wander around the the audience, and uh, we have a special secret response if you ask the right question, and the question is, do you think there's life on Mars? He will give you a special answer. It's almost one o'clock in the morning and I've switched off. Yes, it, it nearly is. My brain's just gone, no more, no more. I think the reason I most wanted to do the video with you here mm -hmm. is because 
I don't see Tom and G often enough to get to introduce my friends to them. I thought it'd just be nice to introduce my best friend of the cast so you get to meet him properly. Anyway, anyway we're Tom finishing and G. each other's Sandwiches. paragraphs. It's been a pleasure to meet you through the lens. Johnny, Tom and G, Tom and G, Johnny. Today, you look like this. And I shall see you next Wednesday. Follow me on Twitter. I'll put all of his information in the description. Hello. People say in the doobly doo. That's my second favourite word of the week. After syllabub. syllabub. Find all of my details in the syllabub. Can you stop pointing to your crotch, please? Sorry. When do we start waving? We don't. This okay. just goes on forever now. I reckon that's pretty accurate. Uh, that's it. That was exactly right that was, though. Yeah, it's good. Can you put your hand out? Thank you. Yeah, I've got it down. Ah!